has taken Did anybody die? For the no, not this time. The office of the president. Why the French embassy? Well, I don't know. We have a higher profile than the French. Every measure would be taken to apprehend. Jim, do you think the embassy is safe? Look, I think those guys are trying to get attention. And they're not discriminating about what they blow up. But the embassy is safe. Okay, we've got it covered. So there's no need to worry, okay? We are all shocked and saddened at the murder of Colonel Mallory. The president himself has expressed an interest in our trip. I'm proud to announce that he has put Colonel Mallory's death at the top of our agenda, along with gaining access to the weapons facility. <coughs> we know that they are very concerned about us coming down there to discuss their weapons defense program, and they are going to try to find out anything and everything they can from us. It is imperative. It is key that we get them to agree to give us access to their research and development facilities. This is very important. We're going to get an update from Hallaby, but first Olson. You all know Ben Olson. He's going to be the security officer on this trip. Ben, how are the accommodations setting up down there? Yes, sir. We're in good shape on that, General. In fact, I'm waiting for a call from the RSO at the embassy any time now. I want our command post set up and a direct combo to SecDef in place before the main party arrives. I can use the Su-3 in the back if you'd like me to get an update for you right now. Excellent. Oh, Ben, make sure that they don't set us up in some flea bag hotel like those state boys did the last time we went down there, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. 
We know that they are very concerned, and I think we all have to be aware of the fact they will try to find out as much as... Yo! Hey, Billy Joe, Ben Olson here. Hey, Ben. <laughs> How's it going? Good, listen, everything's fine on this end. Look, I want to go secure, you to right? You ready? Yeah, hold on a second. Okay. Okay, go in secure. Their weapons defense program. Halaby, how about that update? Well, General, the only additional information that we have is that um, Abu Bakr operates from the northern frontier area of Akerstan, and there's no intelligence linking him to any other organizations. Thank you. Anybody have any questions? And what I really need to know is um, what kind of cell phone to use for the gym, big dog. Yeah, yeah, we use the uh, Siemens 112. It's a GSM unit. It works really well. We haven't any problems with it so far. Great, I'll have one of my guys pick up a half dozen or so for us to use. Hey, thanks for calling. We'll see you there.
Ah. Oh, wait. That's what police. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Good, good, good. Please open your luggage. No, I don't think you understand. I'm, I'm with those two guys. I'm, I'm unofficial. Business. Sorry, sir, but you do not have a diplomatic passport. See you outside. Look, I'm supposed to go right through, Mother. Those are my couriers, and uh, it's an official. Sorry, sir. You must inspect your luggage. Okay. You have a policy on this. Are you new? You don't know about that? We've, we're supposed to go right through. So it's just my, you know, my, my clothes here. These are my shirts. I've got coats. There's nothing here. To, th those are just toiletries and things. I don't think you need to go through there. Okay, you're going to go through there. Those are aspirin. You know, aspirin. What are you doing? Look, all right, just put it away. I mean, look, just please, just put it back. This is ridiculous. Okay, okay. okay. You didn't what's need on? to look at that. What's, I didn't what's going on? Please, please, you got aspirin all over the place. Please. Look, right. my couriers have already went through. Okay, I sir. I need to have my luggage okay. looked at. We have an agreement. I understand, yeah, sir. These people are kind of new here, you know? And they're trying hard. If they decide to check your luggage, they will check your luggage. Everything Good. is fine. Where We've are you coming from? I'm, I'm coming from the U.S. What's the purpose of your trip? Official business. Official business. Yeah. Where's your visa here? It's is right it? here. You see? Good. Okay. Everything is looking fine, yes. Great. Uzma, everything is fine, yeah. You can stamp this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See, that's not that so hard. You. Welcome to my country, Akursan. Thank you very much. Hey, man, it's great to see you guys, huh? All right. Welcome to Akersan. Let me get this for you. Let me get this for you. What's up? It is so hot here, but what took you so long? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Welcome to the Taj Mahal, gentlemen. Nice. This is nice. Sweet, huh? Take it through, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, I told you I heard what you said about the general, right? Believe me, I want to stay on his good side. Makes life a lot easier out here, you know? This works for me. Yeah, we've used it before. No, not us. We didn't stay in this last time. No, but the Secretary of State stayed here just a couple of months ago. Hey, check it out. It's clean, right? Okay? Plus, we haven't used this place enough to make him suspicious. All right, guys. Let's uh, see what the satellite angle looks like. What direction is this, north? No, man, that's south. This works. I can get a good angle from here. Good. Okay, guys, let's go, let's go. Big dog gets... Hendrix, how long am I stuck here for? General, they said they're within spitting distance. They're stuck in traffic, but I've arranged a comfortable place for you in the VIP room. Hey, move the truck! Come on! I don't... Does anybody speak English here? I gotta get through here. You have to move this truck out of here. Do you speak English? You don't speak English?
brutal what they did to him. But we've got to find the people who did this. The problem is the DIA and the CIA, they have very little on this Abu Bakr group. I was hoping that the embassy might be able to give some new information. Unfortunately not. The locals don't seem to know very much. President Koshrat's been very vocal in condemning the killing, but hasn't said much since. They've assured me they'll do everything they can to catch these madmen. Mr. Ambassador, with all due respect, are you sure these guys are playing straight with you? Well, I believe I have a good relationship with Koshrat. I trust him. But these situations are always hard to figure. It just seems very strange this group came out of nowhere. I mean, somebody's got to be behind them. Somebody has to be backing them. I'm going to squeeze Koshrat. And if he knows something, he better damn well tell me what it is. I assure you, Mac, Koshrat appears to be sincere. He told me what he knows, we'll know. We'll just see, won't we, sir? Well, it looks like everything's nailed down for that meeting tomorrow with Koshrat. Ben, is everything secure over at the hotel? Yes, sir. In fact, I'm heading over there right now. Outstanding. Could you pass these notes? We heard that you know about the best deals on brass and carpet. Oh, yeah, yeah, for you, I know the best, the best. Come on. Ah, great. <laughs> so, where are you from? Washington, D.C. Oh, you know what I like about America? Willie Nelson. I listen to Willie Nelson all the time. He's a good singer, no? Yeah, sure. I like Toby Keith. Do you know who that is? Toby Keith? No, no, I know, I know Willie. He's the man. My favorite is the red-headed stranger, but you know, he wrote the crazy, you know, crazy. Hey Ben. Hey Ben. Uh, you want to join us for some dinner tonight? Um, some of the guys and us are going to go check out this new kebab place that we found out. It's not too far from here. Oh, that sounds great. But I promised Jack and Bob I pull a shift at the command post tonight. But besides, I really need to watch every penny. This divorce is really killing me. If you know what I mean. Mm. Anyway, I'm just going to order room service. Um, but thanks for the invite. Appreciate it. All right. Hey. Uh, thanks for sharing. <laughs> yeah. See Oh, they brought our bags. Oh. Hey, George, uh, you left your laptop in the room. Oh, it's okay. I took the hard drive out and left it at the embassy. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Silence. No Will and Elsa. <laughs> what a trip he was, huh? Oh, Omar was great. He got us some really good deals, though. Yes, he did. He never did finish telling me about the meeting in the ambassador's office. Mm. Let me turn on the TV.
Yeah, yeah, roger that. Everything is uh, quiet here and everything's fine, eh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roger that. The key is in. We are going secure. Uh, yes, I have a secure fax I want to send from the general to the sec dev. in the press for being soft on terrorism, not to mention the fact he'd lose aid from the international lending community, that he'll play nice with us. Mr. Ambassador, the vehicles are in front of the embassy and ready to roll, sir. General, let's roll. So the Americans know nothing of our relationship with Abu Bakr. Mr. President, the American motorcade has just entered the compound. A citizen of Ekorstan was involved in the assassination of your attache. Hand over anyone who was involved in that murder, and that will eliminate any suspicion. <laughs> General, you, do not understand you are not the paying people attention. of my country. You do not understand the political process. What you are asking of me, me is impossible. Let me explain something to you. The people of our country were very protective of our own. One of our boys was assassinated on your streets. It would be in your best interest to help us apprehend that assassin. And you, Do I make myself clear? You are threatening me in my country, here in my office? No, sir. I'm asking for your help. I've made a commitment to my friend, your ambassador. I told him we will do everything possible to apprehend whoever is responsible for the killing of your attache. But don't threaten me, General. We are friends, of course, friends.
and were very successful and yielded very useful information. Really? Yeah. How? Actually, the Americans' first mistake took place before they ever left their country. Yes, sir, we're in good shape on that, General. In fact, I'm waiting for a call from the RSO at the Embassy any time now. I can use the Su-3 in the back if you'd like me to get an update for you right now. Excellent. You see, the first piece of the puzzle came from what should have been a secure telephone call between the Pentagon and the American Embassy here in Akerstan. Okay, go in secure. You mean you broke the American code? No, no, Excellency. But they could not synchronize their secure telephones for some reason. Hold on, I, it's not going through. They know that we record every telephone call that comes into or originates from the American Embassy. Uh, I, I can't seem to get this thing secure. Listen, what I really need to know is... Um, what kind of cell phones we should get for the uh, general... I mean, big dog. Yeah, yeah, we use the uh, Siemens 112. It's a GSM. The information we collected from this conversation identified the exact type of telephone General MacArthur would use while in Akerstan. Listen, I have a question. Uh, this information later proved to be very useful. The Americans rely so heavily on communications intelligence. Perhaps they are not as intelligent as some people think. They pride <laughs> themselves on their technology. Yes. <laughs> How about a beer? You guys, yes, yes, yes. What do you want? Heineken. The second piece of the puzzle came after we had intercepted the secure call from the Pentagon. The calls, man. We had alerted the embassy in Washington to report any information about General MacArthur's visit. One of our alert embassy employees in Washington happened to be leaving on holiday. The same airport on the same day in Washington when members of General MacArthur's communications and understood the importance of our alert. 